What is going on, fantastic people? It is time for the Pickums of the Weekend. Much love and appreciation to everybody who's been tuning in. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe on these videos. And once again, it's Nameless, and we're here to go through these games. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, so here's last week's results. We didn't put our week one here uh, on the Pickums, but we're now gonna do them all on the Pickums. Uh, and keep in mind, uh, as the days going on, my day of predictions might change a little bit based on prior performance that we see. Uh, but here was my, uh, pre early, early predictions last week for week two. And we did pretty good. We went one, two, three, four, five, six out of 10. Saturday was a bit tough. Uh, I think the rocker beating phase, nobody had that. We had Legion beating breach. Uh, breach ended up turning up. So, you know, just a bit of a bad prediction there. And then optics surprisingly, uh, coming out and winning that match versus the Toronto Ultra, which on the day of, I actually picked uh, Optic to win that series, I believe. Um, and then moving into, yeah, I did actually. Uh, and then moving into the next day, uh, we have, what what happened here? Okay, so Legion ended up choking, costing me there. Uh, and then I got these last two, right? So all in all, I mean, Friday and Sunday were absolutely wonderful. We had fantastic picks. The day of, I did adjust my Saturday pick for Optic uh, based on what I saw uh, on Friday, which I already had them winning before the week started. So realistically, it was a great week. Uh, I'll take a six out of 10 and realistically a seven out of 10 anytime. Uh, so let's go into week three and see if we can sort of uh, emulate that uh based on the information that we have so we have the london royal ravens versus the florida mutineers as the first game on friday now this is a very important game uh let's pull some things up really really quick all right so you can see where the royal ravens are they're sitting at one and three uh and then the florida mutineers one and two so massively important game uh for tiebreaker scenarios as you know top eight has is top eight makes it into winners and nine through twelve make it into the losers bracket so this game is actually very important uh because a tiebreaker scenario could put uh, these teams into winners bracket spot and then Florida Mutineers to have an opportunity because they have two games left They could end up three and two. So a really big game uh, for Florida problem for Florida is they're still very bad at hard point uh, when you look across their stats um, They've just not been playing great whatsoever. I mean win percentage for Florida is 18% uh, Plus minus like they have the worst. It's minus 38.6 is almost 40 uh, All their stats. I mean they're at the bottom of basically everything um Aside from like, oh no, so breaking their number 11 rotation, they are dead last, I think. Yep, dead last in rotation. Like, nothing is going right for this team. Um, so, in hard point, it's just been an absolute struggle. Uh, what we've seen from this team, they just made a roster change as well. They're picking up Dave Patty, so it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period. Uh, going into a matchup against the London Royal Ravens, who looked much better in their last series versus the Legion. This is a very hard game to predict. Uh, however, I am going to go three, two Mutineers. Uh, the Ravens still have not convinced me. Uh, but Scraps had an unreal performance. Can he keep that up? I don't know. Uh, I trust the search and destroy and the iciness out of Florida more than I trust the fluky respawn out of Ravens. I think that's the way that you should look at this game. So I'm gonna go Florida Mutineers three, two. Uh, sorry for the long drawn out prediction there, but is where it is it's a hard one uh new york versus legion i think without a shadow of a doubt uh new york win this 3-1 straight up uh legion got a lot to work on uh lag versus atlanta phase this is a banger of a matchup if you remember the last time these guys played was on land lag won both hard points and phase won both snds to take the series 3-2 on land i don't think phase is going to be as bad in respawn this time around versus lag so i do think they take this one in a 3 one fashion i think they're going to take that game one control and they're going to take control and then they're ah, man actually i don't know how if it can end up three one i think they will win the first hard point we go into a search and destroy they either win three oh or three two i don't think they win both hard points in this series is basically what i'm getting at so yeah i'm gonna go phase three two uh moving on we got toronto ultra versus lag on day number two match number one uh in this series i like toronto a lot but it's also very hard for me to see LAG going 0-2 on the week. However, it is possible. I do think Toronto will just win this one, man. But I don't know. This is a very this is a toss-up, guys. Do your research when you look at this one because when you look at the hard points, like LAG has been better with this new roster than Toronto. They are 6-0 in hard point, LAG and the new team. Um, and Toronto having a bit of a tough performance in their last series. Uh, man, that's a hard one. You know what? I'm just going to go gut here. I think LG are gonna take it. I think they're actually the better hardpoint team right now than Toronto. And I think 
uh you know with search and destroy toronto has been solid they're solid everywhere they're solid at control solid at search i think lag might come in and, and win a snd here um three two they're just not gonna have an own two week not gonna have an own two week wow man it's a risky risky picks um okay uh and then we have optic versus the vegas legion uh optic win 3-0 uh, they're looking on real at search. Uh, the respawns have been on point. They take it 3-0. Uh, we have Breach versus the Florida Mutineers. Um, if I remember correctly, like Breach has been playing pretty good. Yeah, win percentage 80%, four and one hard point so far in qualifier two, 80% hold, uh, only second to LAG. I feel like Boston has been pretty solid aside from that optic game. Uh, and they are also in a position where they're two and one with a win here that secures them the winner's bracket. And I think they will take it. I think they'll take it 3-1. Uh, they, they win both hard points here versus Florida, just a much better hard point team. Uh, Breach, uh, obviously, right now, performing in the top three in stage two when it comes to HP. And Florida's still dead last. And then when we look at the, the S&D and control, like Boston can win search. Uh, they have some maps that they're decent at. And then when it comes to control, I like the slang ability on the side of Boston better. Uh, I think if you're Boston, you just go ahead and you get rid of a CeeLo, force a hotel or a fortress, whatever Florida is willing to play. Uh, and then the ball's in your court at that point. Uh, but moving on, we have New York versus the Seattle Surge. I actually think this one can be a banger. Uh, big bounce back game for Seattle. They have a lot of time to sort of fix their issues. However, they're going up against New York, and this is a finals rematch. I think New York takes it 3 2 fashion. Uh, moving on, we have Seattle Surge versus the Minnesota Rocker. I think Seattle take that uh, 3 1. I think Seattle come in, bounce back, they bowl them out. Uh, Seattle's, I mean, people were riding them off because of their online performance, which they don't understand. They've been absolutely abysmal at SD, but they are still a threat. Sib is unbelievable. Pred is unbelievable. They come in, they win that series 2 1. Uh, we have Boston Breach versus the LA Thieves. LA Thieves have been seriously struggling. Uh, and honestly, I think all the stats and everything would lean towards Breach. Uh, but I do think the LA Thieves come in and they beat Breach, simply a player confidence thing. Um, and also the fundamentals are still great on Thieves, just sometimes they're dropping the ball in the slaying category. They're one of the only teams that you can really just blanket statement that about. Uh, at times there's some sus decisions in the crunch time. We've seen Envoy throw his life away, uh, things like that, but nothing really to write home about. Um, so LA Thieves, I'm going to take them 3-1 over Breach. I just think uh, player confidence, they come in, Kenny's back, they, they win that series. Uh, we have Atlanta phase versus optic Texas the banger of the week I am going optic Texas right now this is what I'm this is what I'm feeling I might change after we see this Atlanta phase game or this optic versus legion game but right now I'm going optic Texas in a 3-1 fashion set up the major but yeah that's my pickums guys let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed this video uh also quick update for you guys who made it to the end of this video i have a community on twitter it's called sports bets and cdl picks with that i'll be posting my sports bets but mainly my cdl bets for you guys um uh cdl picks i can't personally bet but you know some of you guys can and some of you guys just do these pickums anyway so it'll help you either way uh and i'll be posting uh deep analysis and text uh on that community post on twitter the link for that will be in the description below so join up let me know what you guys think and uh hey let's see if we can get more points here in week three much love take it easy everybody